guys how are you welcome back to my channel so before i start this video i want to tell you guys to stay and watch until the end of this video at the end of this video i will be telling you something it's a little announcement about this channel and where the direction of this channel is going so be sure to watch till the end All right, so in today's video, I will be doing a little makeover for a certain part of our house, which is this part right over here. I know a lot of people who's been staying in an apartments or any duplexes that have these kind of areas, which they don't know what to do with them. The easiest thing for them to do is basically to place some pots or to use it as like a table, like a console table. That's the best that they can do. I just want to tell you guys that at the bottom part, they have this edge right over here that is kind of like space consuming as well. Uh, it takes a lot of space. And what I will be doing with this space basically to turn it into a breakfast bar like a breakfast nook or you can call it like a sky bar overviewing the views which I don't have much of views right over here and this space can also be used like a kitchen island like a prepping table for me to prep my meals and everything everything I can do on this particular table because our kitchen is only this big see and you can see that it is already full with the rice cooker and also the induction stove and that's it that's all that you can put it there and I will also need a space for me to put my morning coffee my coffee makers, my toasters and all of my cups. This seems to be like the perfect perfect part for me to put the table over here. And yes, it is a little bit tricky for me to put my table over there because of the shape and also the height of this panel right over here. So I need something that can be customizable for this area. So instead of buying new table, new bar table, we are going to reuse this old, old, old table that we have that we don't really use. Yes, it is a little bit worn out. You can see the edges right over here. It already start to scrape away some wooden lamination right over there and the edges is not that great as well. So what I will be doing basically, I will be covering that with something else. You can either use a wallpaper like a marble wallpaper that is really nice However, I am going to opt for something different. I got this from Shopee. This is actually a PVC leather that you usually use to paste it on your sofa. Just in case like your leather sofa have some cracks or scratches on them, you can easily take this out and paste it on it. I will put a link in the description down below where I got them from Shopee and you guys can check them out. So we got the tabletop ready and I already have the leather adhesive and next thing that you need is this. This one I bought from Ikea. I will put the link in the description down below as well and this one, it is actually customizable to the height that you want. So because of the part that we are going to make have a certain height that most furniture shop don't have the exact height this is the best option for me to use and I will only be needing two of them because the back part we can just put it on top of the panel and this will be the one holding the table bar at the side. Alright so I got this tabletop right here and right now what I'm going to do is basically I will be taking this PVC leather stick on, this is basically a sticker on top of the table. So this will look something like this. I have another one that I will be pasting at the end as well and I will show you guys how it is done. Alright, so I am done with the first part. You guys can see that this is the leather part and this is the old wood of the top. I want to show you guys a close-up of how it looks like. It looks super good. You can compare it to the old one and the new one. This one looks so smooth and the best part, it is leather. Right, so right now I'm going to finish the end right over here. I have some excess leather sticker that I'm going to stick it on right over here. Alright, so this is the end result. I love the leather. I love how it feels. And yes, I put the big chunk right in the middle and I cut the smaller pieces and put it on this side. If you are wondering, yes, there is a slight binding line right over here, the gap. However, it doesn't bother me as well. I really love the end result. Alright, so now we're going to flip it over like this. And now I'm going to take this uh, legs that I have already measured to the perfect size of the height of the beam that we are going to put this top on. I'm going to screw the front part right over here and here. 
and I'm gonna show you guys how it doesn't need any nails or screws at all. You literally just put it on like that. And it saves space at the bottom right over there and also giving you more floor space for your house. Alright, so I forgot to mention that I bought this from Shopee as well. This is a stool bar and this fits perfectly to the height of this table, right? Where I'm putting this camera right now. So this is how the space looks like right now. Just look at that. Alright, so if you guys are still watching, you guys made it through the whole video and I hope you guys like it. So it's time for the little announcement. Basically, I've been receiving a lot of feedback from you guys and I am forever thankful for that. And this is my step in improvising and accommodating you guys as my viewers. And I've been receiving a lot of comments and DMs telling me to speak in Malay. So moving forward, all of my content will be mixed Malay and English so that it will not be full on English. So that's a little announcement and I hope in the future you guys would still give me the same support as you guys did right now and thank you so much for everything. So I have a lot of plans coming up. I have a lot of content coming up. I have probably about 9 in my plans for the future. Yes, I took a long hiatus, one month to be exact because I was in my exam period. And now I'm done with that, so I'm ready to focus on YouTube and you guys, so more DIYs coming your way. And please, please, please comment down below, let me know what type of content do you want me to shoot in the future. Alright, so that's all from me for today's video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe this channel and also follow me on my social media accounts, all in the description down below. And yep, that's it. Bye!